hey what is going on mlb family we're making a very it's gonna be a quicker video here um but it is going to be discussing the basics of flipping cards making stubs just real basic stuff a couple little things if you're just starting out some of you guys may be totally new to mlb the show uh, i've been playing the game for like seven or eight years now uh, at least diamond dynasty is uh, forever i feel like uh so if this helps you out at all make sure you hit the like on the video uh, make sure you do subscribe for more stuff. You guys looking for the Madden No Money Spent series. It is going to be coming back this week, obviously, but I didn't want to make a video just to make a video for that. So uh, I just didn't want to force like a, a, a bad content. You know, like you understand completely. Um, additionally, since MLB baseball season is coming around the corner, uh, Underdog Fantasy will be having stuff for MLB. Uh, if you guys want to try that out, make sure you use my code, the actual CC when you sign up, there's going to be a link in the pinned comment, or you can download the app totally up to you, but let's talk about this. It takes one of two things. Generally time or money. Well, I'm, I don't spend any money on this game, but it takes time. And I will tell you this right off the rip. If you want to start flipping cards and making stubs that way, it will take a lot of time. It's possible. And it is very, that's the whole reason why we do the no money spent series. This isn't part of the series, but that's why we do it is to, to show you guys eventually, uh, and break it down. This is going to be a really high level here. When we get to the video where we complete the big collection here, uh, this collection, right? When we complete this collection, I'll break down much more detail about what I did. Uh, but the main thing, what you want to do is focus on if you're flipping, you need to know how it works. So we go look at the marketplace when you are selling a card, they're going to take 10% tax from you. Okay. So you need to find a good range between the buy now and the sell now price. Generally you want more of a 10% difference, right? Cause it has to be more than 10% but I want you to be aware of a couple key things that can help you out in this process. One, there is a companion app that you can download. The advantage this has is it tells you the trending prices of these cards, what the completed sales are. And obviously you can buy and sell cards on there as well. But the trending prices, the completed prices is really, really helpful to know that if you're looking at a card, be like, man, this has a decent range here. I could, I could flip some of this stuff. Um, yeah, you know, maybe you can, maybe you can't, right? But you will have a better idea knowing some of that stuff. So, uh, diamond players, difficult, some golds are okay to do. Generally, I like to focus initially on smaller things. When you have a small stub count, you need to do little things here. Um, and some of it gets tricky. Uh, Gary Sanchez is a good sort of thing in here, right? So. Again, we see the 178 is kind of like, it's kind of on its own, but 241 and 100. This is actually a really good card to flip right now. If you were to be able to buy it for 101, right? And then say we wanted to sell it for 240, right? That's going to give us 115 steps if that goes through on both sides. Okay. That's actually a really good return. That's a hundred percent return. Now that's always going to be kind of rare and you're not always going to see that happen. Okay. But the, here's a good example of sort of what to look for. And when you see cards that have certain prices, like 177, 178 there, it's really like, are those outliers or is a 241 the outlier and everyone just bought them all up again. That's what the app is there for to help you out. Uh, lower overall cards are easier to do. You just have to go find them. Generally higher price, low overall cards will have more of a profit in here. Maybe not a percent per card because that's actually going to be free agents. Um, so there's a free agent collection right now. And this is, this is just for the very beginning of the year. And a lot of the people overpay for these free agent cards. So you can see that you could get a high percentage uh, of profit on some of these cards. Even as we get down into the commons and stuff, they're all like, you can just see the prices here. They're all like 60 something thousand stubs. Do I have that guy no. Um, or 60 stubs, 70 stubs, 50 stubs. And you can just see that. And these actually move really quickly. I was able to sell 
every single duplicate I have, which again is a feature you can uh, have in the app for all these cards. And they were all bought for 50 to 60 stubs. All of these useless cards you don't think of, okay? Like I said, there's a collection for your free agents. And if you want to do that, go ahead. There's some stuff in there. I recommend that only if you're a pack puller, don't go buy cards to do that. It's kind of weird. Uh, other things that you can in learn how to flip the unlockables stadiums. I stay away from sponsorships. Perks are really, really volatile. Um, give you an example of something we were looking at earlier today with the perks were these power perks, power one, power four, power two, power three earlier today. The sell now price was about 1700 and the buy now was about 3000. It's obviously changed very rapidly. So there are items in this game that will change prices really quickly. If you are buying anything to flip that has a higher price point, three, four, 500 stubs and up, even though I'm not, that's not a lot. You want to monitor the prices so you don't get caught holding the bag. I've been caught holding the bag, uh, before like, um, all of these diamond equipments. And again, if you're investing in diamond equipment, very volatile, be careful, uh, because where is it? This, this, this guy right here, it, it was pretty expensive Saturday, Saturday afternoon. You couldn't even, there was no buys up. You basically, someone could sell it for 50,000 stubs over and over and over. And now it's not. So I'd bought some for like, I thought I got a deal at like 32, right? And I basically had to sell it back for 32. Now again, if you're patient, maybe prices go up, but again, be weary of it. Another item, which has been very volatile is this one that I've been paying attention to. Um, very odd, odd item here. Prices go up and down really, really fast over throughout the days time span uh like we see here right now the cell as 15,000 earlier today the cell was at 32,000 it was up and down don't get hot caught holding the bag uh so that's the basics for stubs again there are basic collections come in here do those things uh the live series collection again if you want to do that it takes a ton of time the goat stuff probably far away from there even some of the stuff in here, you're not going to be doing much of the stadiums. Again, if you really want to do the stadiums, go for it. I'm not really trying to go do the stadiums. Uh, the uniforms also super expensive and you don't really get a lot from it. If you get non sellable ones, that's cool. And that's fine. I don't like to go do those collections basically ever. And I don't like doing stuff like this as well. Like, oh, if I collect all of these, I get a ball player equipment choice pack and 500 stubs. The problem is this card is 30,000 stubs. Like why it's a, t unless you really, really want to do that collection, I would avoid it and not do it. Uh, I've checked out exchanges kind of avoiding, uh, the best thing you could possibly do here is some of these exchange ups. But again, you're just, if you're playing road to the show, you're just going to get those stuff anyway, uh, within there. If you are buying packs right now, please make sure you are checking the prices on each and everything. Stadiums are more expensive right now. Bronzes are more expensive. Free agents are more expensive. Very key thing, kind of pack trash as a value and you should be able to take advantage of it that way. Um, otherwise, again, real basic, how to get the most XP and all this other stuff. I haven't even loaded into a single game yet. I'm not there. So I can't answer that for you. And I'm not just going to steal someone else's information and put it out as my own because it's not really what we do. So this was really basic, really high level. You know, if you guys high level just means like you're looking down, you're like, that's earth, right? But as we can get closer in and when we do that with the collections video, I will break down absolutely everything for you. I will tell you this right now. I believe and let, my math may be a little off here. But I've bought and sold at least over 10,000 things so far in this game. And it's barely been out. Think about that. Time or money. It's a no money spent series. I can't spend any of that. I gotta spend time. Is what it is. I love you guys. Good luck.
Be great. I'm out. Peace.